My name is Danabel Palma, and I'm the New York City Council Member in District 18th in the Bronx, and I have the privilege and honor to chair the General Welfare Committee in the City Council, and I'm a sponsor um, of Intro 48, so I wholeheartedly support the efforts um, that need to be done to make sure that we can get a bill like that passed um, at, in the City Council. The results of this study confirm what many of us already um, knew, that thousands of vacant buildings across the city go unseen, um, go unused each night, while at the same time we know that the population in, the, ho the homeless population continues to grow within um, our city. And we need to make sure that we are working in partnership with organizations like Picture the Homeless, with um, the city's administration, the city council, the state elected officials, and the federal government to make sure that, you know, we prioritize um, housing. We prioritize especially low-income housing for, for New Yorkers. and. Um, Moving forward, this study will serve as a wonderful resource um, as we in government look to develop programs to make sure that we are addressing the real need of um, the real needs that the homeless population face um, each and every night. I'm just excited that this information is coming out. I'm, ev I'm even more excited that it costs substantially less than they said it would. Um, and that excites me a lot because most of us knew uh, that it would cost much less. And we should not take no for answer on things of this nature. Um, the city council is supposed to be there to listen and accept great ideas. Why they don't, I, I really don't, I don't know the answer to that. Um, and there's some of us in there who are fighting like myself. Um, Melissa Mark Verito, who, who's representative is here. It's her bill. Uh, I'm very comfortable with the bill being in her hands. If it was someone else, perhaps I might not be as, as comfortable as I am. But she's one of the fighters there. And if you guys can do it, I know we can do it.